My friends, I have actually spent a week of training doing set pieces, including penalties, and I've changed it in the tactic as to who the penalty takers are, which is guaranteed in the last four games we would like it a single penalty. I always like to show this screen, even though it's at the wrong end of the table for us, so... Our run in is 12th, 22nd, 18th, and 11th. I'm not really worried about them. They're a point behind us currently. Uh, 20th, 16th, 13th, and 7th is pretty equivalent to ours, if you ask me. Miranda's 22nd, 5th, 21st, and 2nd. They play us. This is a six-pointer if we make it that far. Um, but you'd hope they'd drop points against 2nd and 5th. Cartagena, 4th, 10th, 9th, and 15th is not exactly easy. I don't think Malaga has anything to worry about, nor does Pan uh, Ferradina. But you're saying there's a chance. A little one? I'm going to do the exciting thing of hitting continue together because this set of games happens on Saturday before our game. We need oh, we need Villarreal B to win, I guess, to be on 39 points with everyone else. And we need our relegation favorites below us to beat the team ahead of us. I don't think those things are going to happen. Is this episode over before it begins? Draw, law, win. Oh. Nine points out of 12. Nine points back, four games left with the game in hand. So we could be six points back with three games it's it's not looking good we need help from the other teams that are played not this game but the, the next game and we have to do our job we are hosting they're expecting us to draw i don't know why um 12th place ibiza assistant is recommending we play positive we are at home and we are desperate so we're gonna look at a little sad state i mean in some in instance it's not really sad it's just the situation we're in. They're playing a 4-4-2. They're in better form, and they're on 50 points, and we're on 31. Why are we playing positive? Why, why did I let my assistant talk me into this? Match momentum. Er oh, my gosh. They've killed the man in the third minute. Hector Hevel. Oh, jeez. Guys, why'd you have to go and do that? Why'd you have to go and do that? Bundu is... I think you do this and you bring Valera in. No, you don't. Bring in Yokobo. Yok you switch this. Going inside forwards. They're both going to. Yeah, they're both going attack. We're on attack. No, 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 no. Oh, can you? This is the, is, am I the only person that plays FM that this happens to that's like. Panic stations, like clearly you can tell I'm at panic stations right now. We need a Christmas miracle, my friends. I'm I'm anticipating putting this out in December, so we need a Christmas miracle. We need to secure 12 points in the last four to have any kind of a shot. I mean, any kind of a shot. Courage. Okay. All in. Burr. We had a we had a bit of a momentum shift there. It was on our side, but then now it's, we're seeing a. So, oh, I thought Altair was going to deflect that in. Instead, it's a masterful deflection to put it out for a corner. We'll take it? Question mark. Depending on what happens. We were there, I think, too. We were there. Oh my gosh, it has just gone through his fingers. Don't worry, he's he's uh he's judging his uh options at the end of his contract. Right? If you relegate us down a division, I'm assuming that means you're not gonna stay with us. They are all over us. We're gonna go back to balanced. I'm gonna put this as an inverted winger. Uh, oh, there's a big dose of momentum, and that's almost in, and then Prats cannot finish, but is uh, no one was offside? Mika Marmol. 
What has and what has Abdon Prats done to the universe? Also, Brian Blando is our leading goal scorer this season with six. How many games he played in? Ten. That says a lot about how the season went before I got here, eh? That was huge. Why does it say the second half? We've got momentum in the second half already. Interesting. Um, keep going. Only Altair appreciates that. Eight. Not happy with you. Everyone else that didn't react, gonna come talk. You're fine. You're doing. You no, know, I'm gonna. I'm gonna talk to him too. Keep going. I'm gonna say, delighted. Get in. Go on, Mika. Do something, mate. Do something from left center back ball playing defender. Ping one for us. I can't believe we lost both of those guys that we brought in in the January window to month long plus injuries. I mean, again, with a little casual pass there, like, I want you to put a little, little bit of effort into pushing it down the pitch. Bundu collects it though. Koke is on a yellow ball over the top. He can't do anything about it. He's what's it going to bring him down? Oh no, he can do something. They've got two yellows on the back line there. Hoofed along. We're there. I'll tear. Oh my gosh. I thought, okay. Okay. It's fine. Don't trust the keeper right now. After he fluffed one into the net. And Bean, okay, tries to do his man, and then, okay, create some space. They do a little long version of a one-two. Bundo brings it down. He's not offside? No. No, don't take that away from us. Yes. I was like, what? How could that have remotely have been offside? Uh, okay, okay. There must have been one of the, the defenders over here on the left side. Are they going to show it again? Nope. Nope. You don't need to see that. Neither do I. We've had seven shots, six on target. I'm never listening to my assistant again. Put it that way. And now, now you go, okay, it's the 73rd minute. Do we park the bus? I'm so tempted to park the bus. I'm so tempted to park the bus. Abdon is not as tired as everyone else because he's played terribly in the last several games and we've yanked him. I don't even know what to I can't know what I'm going to say. Focus. We are going to do some time-wasting subs at the end of the game. Uh... On... Up... I don't like that our right center back is nervous. That makes me nervous. You being nervous makes me nervous, bro. I don't think it's bad to put in, you know, uh, someone up top, you know, in the middle. Make sure we see this result through. Carlos Martinez is also now our oldest player to ever have played for the club. Go on, Carlos. How bad is Hevel's injury? I I don't know what the negativities were. We had a really good shot to like on target ratio. I didn't check all the other stats, but it doesn't really matter now, does it? Why is per like Gaston hanging out in the middle? You see his name? Six points with nine left for the taking we take on the last place we are doing attacking training as you saw up there next the injury broken ribs we're i'm sorry we, we can't afford to no we can we got we've got money we got 5.5 million we'll send him to a specialist yeah what ha injured getting tackled how do you break? Hmm. Interesting. Okay, now what does that mean? Who's next up? Yeah, we're gonna gonna do this, like like we did in this game. You do that. And we're gonna go back on balanced, playing away from home against last. 
Oh my gosh. You cannot make this up. I I believe. Okay, it's May 11th. 10 days would be May 21st, which is our next game. 10 days to 2 to 4 weeks. Got a pulled thigh. I bet it would turn orange. Playing last place. I think Nico Ratti, who has had three non competitive starts and conceded three with a clean sheet, is going to have to come in. And I'm not going to do the injections. You can, what is happening? What is happening? Hey, Vila is almost able to show back up. Great. You can't even see it. That's he's down here. This is our backup left back. He's he's also it's he's also injured. We have Blando, Hevel, uh, James, and Vila all injured now. Raul. <laughs> we are not overwhelming favorites. It's away from home. They've got a seven to five, and we've got nine to five. Nine to five. I, I, what? I understand. I, I understand that Kevin Doherty, Doherty was expecting to lose his job today, and all, had already said his goodbye to players and staff at Hunky Dory's Park. Hunky Dory's Park. Drahira United. It's the Hunky Dory's Park. I that is amazing amazing Pratt is expecting to be played in a uh, pressing forward role guess what that's where we've been playing you recently and you've been terrible sir with everything on the line my friends we go away with a bench of nine non-match sharp players no goalkeeper and in between the sticks for us our backup keeper who hasn't played since august We are six points from safety. This is a massive opportunity. I have put us on balance because we have played better with balance. I'm going to keep the match momentum up there to see how we do. It's not gone well. Start. It's building for them. That's a really interesting chart. Hey, we'll, we'll chunk. Oh, uh, it's gone away. Uh-oh. I know we got another injury. A twisted knee. I'm going to have to see if he can make it. Oh, look at the space that he's got. Of course he does. Well, I'm thinking about the injury. That wasn't on the injured guy's side, so there's... No, it was on the injured guy's side. Yep, Yokobo. Yep. Yep. Just coming back into the play. Look, what, what is Alende doing? He's not even facing... Oh, my... Lose this. We're, we're definitely sunk. The, the board still has us at a C. So I think the board have, again, said attempt to avoid relegation. I think Bundu's offside here no matter what happens. Apparently we're going to ignore that. Um, so I think the board are expecting us to go down. The recent form has been good, so that's probably why. Checking decision possible penalt. Penalt. No penalt. Is it called a penalt in Spain? I, maybe I'm making fun of Spanish language. I'll tear with all day. It's not good, folks. He'll come over with his twisted knee. He looks like he's recovered, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's back to a yellow heart, so it's not like I'm... I'm playing a guy with red injury heart, you know? They are slicing through us like a hot knife through butter. That's going to be a pen. Nope. Blocked. That's going to be a pen. Nope. Nope. That's going to be it. Oh my gosh. Our keeper is so bad. 
I don't think we can survive like this. I think we are going to have to go like aggressive. Like we're gonna have to get stuck in. I will. I will try the positive. We are sunk. I. 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 I it's a shame. It's for our. It's not the keeper's fault necessarily, but he's down to a six point six. Um. It's just a little too little too late. It, it it's partly partly mostly on me sticking with the tiki taka and changing systems like forty seven times, um, in January and February before finally settling on the four two three one control. But then the question becomes, my friends, and this is for I want to see in the comments because again, how I'm recording this, there's going to be a gap between this season and the next season if that's with uh andorra or not so should we oh my gosh that was a tap in with his head um should we stick with the club and get him re-promoted will everyone leave i'm not sure or should we say you know what we knew it. We, we took on we said at the very beginning the first episode that we're going to take on the most difficult challenge, and we've done that, and I've kind of bottled it in January and February. So, lesson learned there. Just play 4231 control everywhere you go. <sighs> Boring. Um, I know everyone in here has more left to offer, so let's. Hey, no one cares. That bad, I believe in you. You aren't that bad, I believe in you. Okay, you aren't. I, I get to say something moderately positive to Pratt's and see how he responds. Yokobo is starting to. Wear down. Pampin, there you go. That's Bundu, but Pampin's on a 6.4. But Bundu is going to carry this team to victory. Is he? Is he? Balling over the top, it somehow, fought, like, how did he get... It fell behind him, but I guess he picked up his foot and came back around and hit it. The momentum has swung since we've gone aggressive on our tackling and all that good stuff. Get an early encourage in. Encourage right before... Come on! Come on, son! Put a good one in! Yeah. Yokobo couldn't jump because his knee hurts. He said, because I'm going to do that. Okay. I didn't think that was going to happen. Altamir is on a 6.3. I just want to point out, we are playing <laughs> quite aggressive right now. It may come back to bite us. I thought he should have played it here. We had the set piece taker was over here, not making a run. He was just watching. Oriana's like, yeah, let's see what happens. Okay. Ooh, okay, we won that back. Nice. Gaston. Mika. What you got, Mika? Mika. Mika. That wasn't very good, Mika. But Gaston's got it. He's going to play him in. Oh, Abdon. I thought he was dumbing it. He should have rifled it, but he doinked it, but it goes in. Do we Do we leave it like this? I'm going to praise. I probably shouldn't. But I don't want to switch off. It's like, we've scored three goals after going down 2 nothing. I think you have to praise. That's three goals in a row, right? Like, that's worth praising somebody, I would argue. Back out to the guy with the sore knee. It's probably a bad idea. But Oh, I thought he was going to win that back, too. Okay. Diego, play it. Oh, no. No, that's not how that happens, is it? He could have easily played it right here. Like, right right when he goes to kick that. You're like, just play it to Oriana. What, what are you doing? Instead, Bundu is marked. He's like, nah, nah, I got this, boss. We do this in training. I think it was towards Pratt's. It was a, like, okay, because Abdon, Abdon, um, lit up here. So, like, was that a pass that just went awry and Bundu reacted to it? Is that just what happened? Um, we are going to take him off because his knee. He's, we probably ruined his knee. Bring on Valera. Amira's not playing well either. Oh, no. Don't tell me he misses the next match. He doesn't. Okay. We're good. Laris pleased. What's he what's he pleased about? For getting called off the bench? 
I get to play today. Is that what you're saying, boss? Diego Pampin. We, no, Vila is injured, bro. Like, we're not... We'll do on Villanova, and we're going to bring on Danny Morar. We're going to say... Yeah, you're fine. You're... you're <laughs> fine. Fine. Make sure we see this through. Let's pause. Look at the table. It's still six points. As it sits right now, it would still be six points. Oh, that's gutting. I mean, oh my gosh. Sixth place is currently losing to currently 17th place. We need them to come back in the next two minutes and at least draw it. Rarely get to do this. We'll praise the lads. Abdon finally put in a performance. Gave us a 7.3 and a goal. 21 shots to their 11. 32 shots in this game with 12 of them on target. Entertaining one for the fans. Great job, boys. Great job. That being said, my friends, it's probably too little too late. I haven't clicked next. Six points. Now, there's not a thing here. It says, obviously, they're relegated. There's not a thing here about us being relegated. I don't know what the sorting rules are, but I have little hope. Because especially if Cartagena wins, a uh, bunch of teams on 43 points. It did say that uh, one of the press things in my inbox was like, 45 points is the, is the golden target. That for three to four days. So it doesn't say that we're relegated yet. But the sorting rules. Results between teams, goal difference, goal scored. Let's look. We're in a hunt with Mirandes, Racing Club de Santander, and Cartagena. So how did we do against them? We drew with Racing. We lost to them. We beat Merendez. We no, we then we drew with them. We played them. We played them three times. Okay, well, a loss and a draw. No, no, never mind. Why did I say three times? That's the two times we played them. Okay, we beat Merende, and we're about to play them. That's our hope, because if it comes down to being even on points, right? Am I reading that with racing? It's a loss and a draw, which isn't going to help us. Okay, so they would get the tiebreaker there. And then Cartagena. Apologize if I've been saying that wrong. We beat them, and we beat them. So we're really hoping... What What are we hoping? What are we hoping? I th I, we're done, I think. Right? If we get six points, we'd be on 43. I guess if, okay, if we beat them, oh boy, live math is fun, but we need, racing needs to be 17th, because if it's a tie break between, if we're in 19th and racing is in 18th, we are out. So we need racing to be in 17th, Mirandes to be in 18th, and us to be on the exact same points as them, and we have to, that means we have to beat them and win our last game, and they have to lose both games. I don't think that's going to happen. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I think that's what has to happen. Is we have to beat them. And then they play third place. Third pla Does third place have anything to play for? They do. They have to play third place Granada. So we have to win our next game. And our, our, we have to win both games. And oh, Levante is 11th. We have to win both of our games, and they have to lose both of their games, including us and Granada. That is our hope. Because like, if, if I'm thinking that right, then racing, if it's a tie with racing, it doesn't matter. All right, my friends. See you next episode. Bye.